Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Now in this video, we are going to continue our topic with a conductor. If you still remember, to make an analysis in the chapter of electrostatic in medium, we need to base on a principle using the three components. In this case, this is our structure of the components. The first one is the material. And here, our material is a conductor. And this material is part of an electrical circuit. Here, I denote that this one as a line here to show that this material is connected to a circuit. Okay, in that principle, the second element is the applied field. And in this case, we have E. And the third element is the charged particle itself. So, uh, this green color is our charged particle. And now, our charged particle is an electron because electron is the majority carrier in a conductor. Thus, I will label it as rho V E. Okay, because electron is our charged particle. And the value of this electron is negative. Okay, as we know that when we apply a field to our medium, it will cause the movement of our carrier. And in this case, the electron will move in the opposite direction of E due to the existence of E. And this movement is denoted as U D. Okay, and this UD is known as drift velocity. Okay, why we call it as a drift velocity? As we know that this conductor is full of electron. Then when we apply the electric field, the electron will move and it will collide each other. And because of the full of the electron, the movement is very slow. And the collision of uh, electron will cause heat. So that's about the electron inside the conductor. To proceed with our analysis, recall the current equation number one, where J is equal to rho V U. Okay, this is the equation number one. And now we know that our medium is a conductor. Thus, this equation can be write as J equal to rho V E U D. Okay, because this is the velocity in the conductor. Okay, and we can write that this one okay as minus e mu e okay where this is the parameter to define our drift velocity while this mu e is the electron mobility and this electron mobility indicate how easy the electron move in a conductor so the final equation that we can write is j equal to minus rho v e mu e e and 
this one is the conductivity sigma okay so the final equation that we can get here is j equal to sigma e and this is the conduction current density okay and this is true for the conductor material only and another name for this is Ohm's law in point Okay, so you get the equation of the current density in a conductor. Okay, from this, I can say that the higher the conductivity, the best or the conductor is. Okay, so if you want to know uh, the conductor is the best conductor, you need to look at the value of the conductor Vt. Okay, so now we are going to proceed with the resistance. Okay, now we are going to proceed uh, with the resistance and to find the resistance in the conductor, we don't need the power supply because we are using a field theory. Okay, based on this, you know that this one is an E. Okay, so recall back our Ohm's law where V equal to IR and from here we can write R equal to V over I. And this V is equal to V equal to negative integration of E dot DL. And this I is the conduction current because the material that we're dealing now is the conductor. And this one can be right as the integration of J dot DS. And previously, we know that this J, okay, the uh, conduction current density can be written as J equal to sigma E. Therefore, the final equation of the resistance in a conductor can be written as the integration of E dl over the integration of sigma E dot ds. So, that's all for this video. Thank you.